Uh, this is uh, Dr. Biki Nabara, and she's discussing about the future of uh, medical mission. Uh, can you t with the um, approved resolution to disregard the uh, rules, the new rules that were made in the last meeting of the PRC uh, PMA of the Philippines in July, in June 2012? The uh, future of medical missions right now seems to be on the upbeat, and we are not canceling our missions. And we hope that the uh, six uh, groups that have already canceled will continue on their mission for 2013. Um, one of them is Texas, uh, Los Angeles, I think New York, uh, Florida, uh, Carolina. They were, and they were waiting for me to cancel. Carolina is North Carolina or South Carolina? Uh, I think it's South Carolina. Okay. But they said that they were going to uh, reconsider now. So I don't know how. At least with my group, we are going. Um, we have not canceled our mission. Oh, what is that 350 piece? Okay. Uh, in pesos, that would be. Uh, they're requiring 3,000 pesos to uh, apply, just to apply. And then once you're approved. You have 8,000 pesos. What is the 3,500 to apply what? For a temporary permit. To for professionals who are coming, who are going. Uh, for medical mission? Medical mission. Okay. It used to be only for the doctors. The regional uh, rule was for um, the doctors. We pay about $30, 35 On your right to get a temporary <coughs> permit to practice <coughs> during the <coughs> missions. <coughs> that was the rule that was laid out. Okay. And then okay. we have <coughs> know, the CVs <coughs> of the doctors, the applications will have to be uh, <coughs> sent together with the deed of donation. These are all notarized. Deed of donation, deed of acceptance, coming from the uh, place, you know, from the venue. <coughs> when you say venue, in the Philippines? or Yeah, here? in the Philippines. Okay. We have to have that submitted to the council. So all the names of the people who will be part of the mission will be in that list. And the doctors and the nurses will have to have the uh, copies of the current licenses and a CV. Uh, except for the doctors, they are supposed to get temporary licenses. And they pay for it. About, like I said, uh, well, 1,200 uh, 1200 pesos. Okay. That amounts to about $30. Okay. Uh, before, this before was July 2009. 2009. Okay. Before that? Before that, um, they just raised it. It was like twenty dollars. It became thirty-five. But I think it had something to do with exchange. So it's only about uh, fifteen dollars increase. Yeah, mm -hmm. the time. So you know, we accepted that. Okay. And uh, I thought at the time that if you have two missions. One after the other, because some of us have missions uh, like that. I never ordered yet. That that would be for the whole, let's say, two weeks. And I think it was like that. But now, in, after the uh, meeting that they had, June 2012, they decided that just to apply, just to apply, is three thousand pesos. And then once you are approved. Um, you pay extra 8,000 for the actual permit, temporary permit. 8,000 pesos. 8,000, so that's about 11,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. So that's about $300, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Plus, we are supposed to get uh, locally provided malpractice insurance. Malpractice? Insurance. Oh, okay. okay. How much is that? Oh, we don't know because I don't think they even have that in the Philippines. So can you get it here in the U.S.? I assume you can, but... How much is it here? Oh, for surgeons? <laughs> it's about 50. How much? 50,000. For surgeons. Uh, is that... Uh, for OBGYN, it's 75 and up. Is that one time or... Uh, That's per year. Per year. But, but that doesn't include foreign, you know, like if you go to the Philippines. This is just uh, for the States. For the States only. So I'm sure if you want Philippines, I might, they might not approve it or they might put a big extra... Okay, so despite this kind of uh, inc or new new increase, uh, do you think uh, there will be 
difference in and uh, volunteer, do volunteer doc doctors sending medical missions in oh, the yes. there's still we will cancel it we will cancel our missions we can go to other countries because uh. the other countries don't want us except you know like us we said why would we go to a different country when we have a lot of needy people in the Philippines. How, uh, so in other words, uh, are you, uh, do you want to tell the PRC to reduce it or remove the increase? No, we already uh, worked on that with the CFO. So they had a meeting on August 17 with the PMA and they decided to to shelve it. So, oh, okay. so now we are going to go okay. on the old, you know, old rules. The old rules. Uh, uh, the old rules, how much do you pay? 1,200 pesos. Okay. And that includes the whole medical mission? Yes. And uh, For the doctors only, the nurses are not included expected to pay yeah. uh, how uh, how many people are involved in in certain medical mission doctors nurses yeah between 50 and 80 with us i don't know about the others. are there any dentists in the group we usually get local dentists ah i see but they use our supplies uh, we provide supplies for the whole mission for certain mission uh, how, how how many months uh, do year. you do the preparation one year and what do you take in your mission? You mean supplies? Aside, yeah, aside from people. Oh, we have all the surgical supplies we bring with us. Equipment. Equipment, anesthesia machines, cautery machines. You take you take it there? Yeah, we leave it, we leave them there. Um, we stop leaving the cautery machines because it's very expensive. Expensive and it's it's not always available. Oh, yeah, I see. But the anesthesia machines is just too big to take with us, so we uh, leave them there mm, okay. <laughs> to the hospital because most of the hospitals we go to don't have any. They they're lucky to have even one machine only. How many missions uh, is is there in in going to the Philippines from the U.S. in one year? But the CFO told us the ones that are. The ones that are legal, right? The ones that go through the rules like we do. They said 312. 312? Yeah. From all over the U.S.? From all over the U.S. Yeah, because the, um, okay, when we apply for a mission, we have to go through the regional consulate. We have an approval, official approval. Mm -hmm. And then th those papers are sent to PRC, Department of Health, you know, mm -hmm. I see. and uh, the CFO. Mm -hmm. So they know that there's a mission going on. I see. But I know that some people don't do that. They go underground. So they know a mayor or a politician there, and they don't go through the through all those things. I see. And so how many are the colorums? How many we are the colorums? We, there's we no know. way we will know what the colorums okay. are. So when is you, when are you going to have your medical mission this year? Um, January 26 to February 2nd. Where? where? Alan Summer. Alan Summer. How many people are involved? So far, all we don't know, it's too early to know because they haven't given us their commitments. But I expect about 60 to 80. 60 to 80? Yeah. Uh, but I have to tell you their complaints first. Okay. Because um, the CFO actually um, took down my complaints. And, um, like what, what are the, the complaints? What are the complaints? Because I refuted all the complaints that they were having. Okay. One is they said, we go there to train ourselves. We are not residents, we are in private. Most of us are, well, we are practicing physicians. Some might have retired, but just recently retired. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't train on the doc, on the patients. We, we operate on them, but it's not uh, uh, training for us. So you are not training actually, because you are already no. trained. Yeah. We're so trained. what are the other complaints? Okay, that's one. Okay. For one thing, we don't even bring residents with us. And if there's other, the, the, the a few times that we do, these are senior residents, and we don't let them do cases anyway, because we're supposed to, you know, help them. Um, and I know that there are missions from the Philippines that they go to the provinces. The residents do the work. Mm -hmm. The attending physicians are just watching. So, you know, it's, it, that's invalid, that complaint. 
Number two is we go to uh, tourist spots only. <laughs> Places where they don't really need, you know, there are no, uh, what you call it, poor people. It's not true. Because uh, we don't go to, let's say, Manila. Although we went to Tondo one time, oh, we saw a lot of poor people there. Mm -hmm. Okay, But we go to a place where there is a hospital because we have to operate. You don't want to operate in the under tents. You know, so we have to have a center of hospital. But the patients come from the surrounding barriers. They're, mm -hmm. they're not coming from the city. Mm -hmm. Come from the barriers, okay? Then the patients are... Um, Screen locally. We don't do the screening. They are screened by the doctors there for the medical, you know, need and medical medical health, right? Yeah. And financially, they're also local, locally screened. We don't know the patients yeah. okay. because one of the complaints is they said we operate on rich people. And that's like money coming from their pockets. <laughs> and you know. We don't have a uh, control over that. They're yeah. the ones who do the financial In screening. Local. So what are the other complaints? That's And then the other one is uh, we hit and run. We operate and then no one follows the patient. But remember, No follow-up? No follow-up. But the problem is, I mean, we, the... The doctors there are the ones who pre-screen the patients, yeah. right? They, they can follow up, the doctors there. They are supposed to follow up. And we endorse our patients. It's not like mm. we just operate today and we just leave. No, we endorse the patients uh. for follow-up. Yeah. And mm, these are government hospitals. We try not to. Yeah, may up on private. Yeah, no, we don't. Mm. The only time we went to a private hospital was in Cagayan de Oro. Oh, yeah? Okay. But the doctors were so nice. They said, don't worry, doctor, we will follow all your patients. Okay. They so, didn't ask for money from us. Mm. Okay. And we left all the, we le left them all the supplies. That's what we do all the time. We so what are the equipment. other complaints? Okay, the hit and run. Uh, what else? I think that's it, the hit and run, um, the, the, the wrong place that we go to, but they wanted us to follow the DOH um, advice. Which are, what is the advice they of DOH? Said that we should, they have a series of places that we should go. But remember, when you plan a mission, you have to have someone in that place that you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot just, how are you going? Oh, the mayor we, maybe, mayor or yeah, but you provincial still, health officer. Yeah, but you still have to know them. Mm -hmm. And you cannot trust the Filipinos. I'm sorry. Them, susulat ka. You're going to write them a letter. Yeah, but it's not in advance. Oh no, it's a difficult. There is a lot of preparation on the, the uh, local side. There's a lot of uh, yeah. preparation on the local side. I see. So uh, it's very difficult. You have to have someone that you know there. That's true. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you cannot do that. Uh, not yeah. knowing you go in there, wala kung kilala. You cannot do mm -hmm. that. I see. See, so how are you going to do the logistics? Okay. So uh, uh, right now, uh, the uh, the show goes on. This show goes on. <laughs> right now, the show goes on the same thing. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Navarro. It's in the web page of the um, CFO. CFO? Okay. Thank you very much. And now, uh, you, you, you sing uh, very well. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Videography, video editing and reporting. This is Joseph Jellariosa of the journal Global Links in Chicago, Illinois.